to Germany now, where the Bundesliga end of season table looks like it often does. Bayern Munich, 21 points clear atop the table. Their sixth consecutive Bundesliga title. Bayern also in the German Cup final this weekend against Eintracht Frankfurt. Rafa, let's dive in on this Bayern Munich team. Yes, there's the success domestically, but they fail again in Champions League going out to Real Madrid. So is it a success? Well, I mean, they haven't re reached a stage yet where a possible double is seen as a non-successful season. It's not quite as bad. But of course, the big longing, the big sense of uh, ambition is international. And uh, they are disappointed. They had a chance against the Real Madrid team that were vulnerable. But they gave away two goals and two goals are too many, at least one too many, if you want to succeed against the Real Madrid team. And the problem that they have is if they look at their mistakes and if they feel maybe we need to upgrade this guy, and maybe we need more depth, maybe we need to do this, it will only increase their domestic hegemony and perhaps add to that slight sense of complacency that uh, maybe dogs them then into uh, when they go into Europe. What I mean by that is they go into Bundesliga games knowing we can create six, seven, eight chances. If we only take three or four, it's fine. If we concede a goal, it's not a problem. When it gets to Europe, when it gets to the semi-final, that mentality doesn't quite cut it. And there's no easy way to get around this unless a new Borussia Dortmund comes back or the old one reappears and pushes them much harder. Raph, you've got to explain to me what Arjen Robin is complaining about. He's unhappy with how titles are celebrated in Germany. What's he going on about there? Well, what's happened since 2013 is that Bayern have won the Bundesliga very early. So the instructions from the coach has always been, let's not party, we have a cup, we have a Champions League, we have to wait till the end of the season. Now, by the time Bayern then get knocked out in the Champions League, for example, then you suddenly push a button and say, let's celebrate the championship. And it feels a little bit forced. It doesn't feel as genuine. And Robin was saying, you know, you win the championship. That moment is the moment you should celebrate. Let's be a bit more spontaneous. But my sense is that Bayern as a club feel that there's always something else to win. And they don't really want that. Stevie, you agree with Robin here? Oh, 100%. Yeah, when you when you when that final whistle goes, he, when just, you... want, he just wants a beer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, well, I, I, it's, not it's not about the beer. trophy. It's not about the trophy. I'm not waiting. I won't so. argue. I won't argue with that. <laughs> but when you when that final whistle goes and and the, and the game that you win it on, that's that's when you should get the trophy because anything after that, it's just made up. You, you're trying to look as though you're enjoying yourself. I mean, you've seen them running around there throwing beer. They're just they're kind of bored. They're not doing it through any sort of real enjoyment and we won the league title. They're filling in time and it's just, it's just false. It, this is elite team sort of problem. <laughs> when are we going to celebrate our championship? I mean, I, I understand your point, but it's kind of like, honestly, Arjun, there are a whole lot of things that you got to concern yourself with, which, by the way, maybe oh, getting past Real Madrid really? would be one of them. I'll tell you what. You, you won MLS Cup, right? Yeah. Right. If they said to you, by the way, we're not going to have the trophy celebrations now, we're going to wait until three weeks' time, and then we can do it. You'd I mean, be that's like, different. You'd be like, it's not, how, how it's, is it any different? Well, one's the league, and you still got games to play. The other's the playoff system, but and the there's point, nothing left. The point is that when you win it, you get the trophy, regardless of what it is, right? We can't so agree. If somebody that. said to him, <laughs> you can wait three weeks, I mean... Can we agree that it's first class How, disappoint problems? How disappointed would you be? <laughs> Not very, to be honest. Anyway, I thought... Am I on a break? Yes. You know, when they have their beer in the celebration or not, I thought Heinkes did a great job coming back in. Super experienced. They were way off the pace, don't forget, when, when Ancelotti was sacked. Mm -hmm. He came in, clearly, and Raf mentioned this months and months ago uh, on the show, things were not right for whatever reason under a very experienced and a very likeable coach. Heinkes came back in off the back of retiring from the treble in 2013. He galvanised the squad. He got back to basics. He kept it simple. They went on a great run. And they played well in the Champions League, but just faulted to Real Madrid. So, all in all, it was a pretty good season when you consider where they were back around October time.